Well, guys, a very troubling sign of the times here. Uh, in New York City, they are running a PSA to tell residents how to prepare in the event of a nuclear attack. Let's take a listen. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why, just know that the big one has hit, okay? So what do we do? There are three important steps that I want you to remember. Step one, get inside fast. You, your friends, your family, get inside. And no, staying in the car is not an option. You need to get into a building and move away from the windows. Step two, stay inside. Shut all doors and windows. Have a basement? Head there. If you don't have one, get as far into the middle of the building as possible. If you were outside after the blast, get clean immediately. Remove and bag all outer clothing to keep radioactive dust or ash away from your body. Step three, stay tuned. Follow media for more information. Don't forget to sign up for Notify NYC for official alerts and updates. And don't go outside until officials say it's safe. All right, you've got this. I mean, for you and I, we did not grow up in the Cold War era, so this feels so strange yes. and so foreign. But there, I mean, it's not an accident that this type of messaging to the public is coming at a time when we are in a proxy war with a nuclear arm superpower. And so it's not crazy for them to be putting this out there. I just love when or how she opens it. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how. Don't oh, I'm like, wait, I <laughs> do have a lot of questions. <laughs> the big one I'm is I'm like, fair. how? Why? How long? You know, though, to the extent, I mean, I think, and I hate to say this, I'm also not a disaster expert. From what I have read, a lot of this is cope. Like, for example, I live near the Pentagon. I live two miles from the Pentagon. If there's a nuclear attack, I'm done. I'm going to be dust. That's just how it goes. New, New, New York City, also, you're, it's probably just, if you Could live in one a, of those little tactical nuclear weapons, soccer, that even they a, say even are no big deal. Nuke, even a tactical <laughs> nuke with their yield and all of that. I've looked into this. I've looked at the whole, like, thing. Unless you live, like, seven, eight mm -hmm. miles away from a major metropolitan area from an obvious target, like the White House, Pentagon, and all this other that we live around here, or same in New York City. I guess if you live in the most outer of the boroughs, sure, you can listen. But otherwise, it doesn't actually matter. So if you live in a non-metro area, yeah, I think this probably applies to you. But it is weird. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in my entire our lifetime. Obviously, yeah. you know, we both grew up in the post-Cold War era, really, yeah. uh, in terms of our formative years. So yeah. this, this is just, this is something that you think about from the Barry Goldwater ad from against LBJ. But now it's real. I mean, at the same time, I don't know how much of this is even necessary. I guess it's probably like a box checking thing from a safety perspective that they have to put this out there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the decision making process was. Yeah. They said this, so this came from the New York City Emergency Management Department and in their press release they said, while the likelihood of nuclear weapon incident occurring in or near New York City is very low, it's important New Yorkers know the steps to stay safe. I mean, I think you're right. And I uh, oftentimes I think a lot of these drills are sort of security theater. I mean, even you see it in like, Uvalde and what happened there right. with well, those remember kids. It's Hawaii? like they had they had drilled, they had like planned yeah. and prepped and drilled and whatever, but hiding under a desk when there's a madman with an AR-15 and doesn't is not going to help you. Remember Hawaii when they got that false? Yeah, they thought they only had like 25 minutes. Or whatever. People were freaking out. Like people. Were, Tulsi you know, Gabbard talked a lot about that. Yeah, but this is the thing: they had 25 minutes because they're in Hawaii because they're in the middle of the ocean. I mean, for the rest of us, like flight time, you know, it's not that long. I also question. Maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist. I don't actually think they would tell us. I think they would just let it happen um, because. I mean, what, what, what's going to happen? You have mass panic for like nine minutes before everything goes. I think they would just let it happen. And whoever the highest decision makers or whatever would be rushed, you know, to the extent that it's even possible, would rush into a bunker or whatever, stratcom. It's grim to um, contemplate. I mean, the-, the I, I do not the think they would tell life us. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I just don't think they would. The life yeah. preservation would be obviously not in the immediate blast zone. But if you're, you know, in the area yeah. where you're on the borderline of whether the radiation is going to mm -hmm. kill you or not, that's the area where like this kind of advice of stay in the middle of the room, close the doors yes. and, you know, cover the floor, like the cracks into the, the room and whatever, where that could ultimately save your life or prevent serious illness. But yeah. I encourage people to go and look at the photos of the Bikini Atoll site or any from the Soviet Union. I don't think people really understand 
what thermonuclear weapons look like, like what those blast zones and the whole, like it's insane. Maybe we can put something in post-production. We can overlay this on top because people need to understand like what the hell we're talking about. You know, the, these bombs are more powerful than that one. The US yeah. government for yeah. decades covered up the uh, footage, uh, the, the, the oh, yeah. um, historical record of the bombs that we dropped in Japan, mm -hmm. of what that looked like and what that did to the populations. I mean, that is really quite recent that, that um, those videos and images have been made public at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's... I forget whose book I was reading. I think it was Annie Jacobson where she describes in detail like what it was like for the guys who were at the nuclear test site because they were put inside like a bunker to like see what it would be like. It, it was insane. Also, there was like some Japanese tanker or whatever which got vaporized because they didn't know how big the bomb was gonna be. And everybody on board just died uh, as a result. Anyway, nuclear war is not a joke. Um, yeah. I think it was... I think it might have been Chomsky who was talking about, you know, in this uh, war with Russia mm -hmm. that he was concerned because you have a lot of young people who haven't had this, like, didn't grow up with this visceral fear and concern over nuclear war. But, you know, if you look at the polling on this, it's actually young people who are the most dovish and the most mm -hmm. dissatisfied with the hawkish direction that the Biden administration has taken us in with regard to that um, war, but yeah, I mean, these are, this is something that our parents' generation really thought about and dealt with and lived with in a visceral way that now, yeah, we do have to, even as you say, I think a lot of this is like security theater and yeah. cope. It is a new like reality and possibility that I think the news media needs to grapple with more seriously as we uh, continue our disastrous policy in Ukraine. Yeah, I agree. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.